This kid is an absolute predator. Peyton broke the record for significant strikes tonight. Uh, I think it was like 145 in that ballpark. I don't have the official number. Peyton Talbot said growing up, he felt like kind of a, a black sheep, a weird kid. I think it can bring some excitement and a change of pace for uh, where MMA has been for a while. Let's go back. <laughs> So can you tell me about this near-death experience that you had at a young age? I think I was like eight years old, and I swam over to the opposite side of the pond where nobody was um, because there were a bunch of lily pads over there. As I was swimming and I was looping my hands to paddle, they were getting tangled more and more in the lily pads. And before I knew it, I was completely underwater with my arms and legs like tangled up in these lily pads, and I could not get out. And I remember having the thought like, fuck this sucks i'm like eight years old and i'm gonna die like i haven't done anything in life and as i was like about to go out and fade out of consciousness i felt a hand grab my back and somebody yanked me out of the water with that happening to me at a very young age i think it instilled like a deep hunger for life and a deep hunger for experience and to like exhaust everything in life before i die because i was extremely close to it in that moment moment and now ladies and gentlemen please welcome the reigning A1 Combat Bantamweight Champion, Peyton! Yeah. Talbot. Yeah. Should have died already. Faces. I should have died already. Shit. Faces. Right here, yeah. catching the knee. Yeah, I should have died already. Came in, I was high already. Everybody tripping, never mind. They steady for my sin. Should have been crucified already. Right. Preparing your winner by TKO and still A1 Combat Bantamweight Champion Peyton Talbot. What's next for the champ? I think it's time for Dana to give me a call and start beating up his golden boys. I don't think he can ignore me much longer and I'm hungry right now, so feed him to me. Let's go to work. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest 29-28 for the winner by unanimous decision. Peyton. <laughs> Peyton broke the record for significant strikes tonight. I think it was like 145 in that ballpark. I don't have the official number. This kid is an absolute predator. He keeps moving forward. He seems unfazed by everything that, that, that happens. He plays the mental game. He keeps talking to his opponent. He's only 24 years old. If this kid can keep his head together, I can't wait to see him at 27. Get over here, Peyton. <laughs> Peyton Talbot, congratulations. When you look at the division, what do you feel like you can bring to these shark-infested waters? I think I can bring some excitement and a change of pace for uh, where MMA has been for a while. Um, and I think a lot of people my age can relate to me. Yeah. The striking was on point. You got the win. You got the contract. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.